Tommy, I'm going to find a fall lowerch er an over show. Ta an over show on top of the fall. Minister, I've re regularly spoken about some of the types of activities in question, such as joyriding and the use of quads and scramblers in built-up areas and public parks. My constituency of Dublin North West has a high level of juvenile crime and, and antisocial. I have also spoken about the rise in the use of young people as drug mules. Juvenile crime and antisocial activity can be a source of great annoyance, stress, disruption and harm to our communities. It impacts mainly on families and the elderly and holds our communities to virtual ransom. My own experience in Dublin North West is that the Garda Youth Diversion Projects have proved quite successful and are a great source in tackling youth crime and antisocial activity. That is why I find it very disappointing to learn that there has been a systems failure across the constituency as well as the country in that thousands of young people involved in crime and antisocial activity have managed to fall through the cracks in the judicial system and that these young people are seemingly almost untouchable. This clearly has had an impact on local communities and has added to the frustration they feel as they see some young people basically doing what they want and getting away with it. This perception of being untouchable can also encourage other young people to get involved in crime and anti-social activity without the fear of any sanction. Immediate action needs to be taken by the Garda Commissioner and the Minister for Justice to correct both the systems failure that has been identified and the human failures that have been exposed in this latest scandal.